Hello everyone, welcome to this special series of Urbanscape Bangalore. In this series, we will look at some popular and some unfamiliar nurseries in the city. Bengaluru, known for its garden city Monica, must have some of the best nurseries in the country. So this is just a small effort at introducing some of them to the world. In our first episode of this series, we will be covering a nursery that is close to my home and even closer to my heart. I discovered this nursery somewhere around 2017 and have found some of the most interesting plants that adorn my garden today. The APD Nursery in Jeevan Bhimanagar, which is a non-profit nursery that aims at empowering people with disabilities. Hence the name, the Association of People with Disabilities or APD. Established in 1959, the Trust aims at providing vocational training and also runs rehabilitation programs. So by buying some plants here, you automatically become part of this festival of inclusion. So without further delay, let's catch a glimpse of the nursery with a difference. So now let us meet uh, Mr. Kiran and let him introduce himself. Hello, I am Kiran from uh, the Association of People with Disabilities. Uh, this is an NGO. Actually, I am working here 20 years. Past time. Uh, here we have, we are giving uh, disabled and the speech and hearing uh, who will uh, they have. We are giving training and we are giving job actually. Uh, this NGO started uh, like, uh, 63 years up and now. Uh, we are giving training for uh, all uh, disabled and uh, speech and hearing. And uh, especially SLC will have a field, no? That we are bringing from rural area. We are giving training them, and we will do the job. Uh, so here, APD means especially we will get a different different varieties of plants and organic fertilizer. And uh, especially we made a APD mix. It means uh, we are uh, mixing almost eight to ten varieties of different uh, uh, manure. We are mixing and preparation actually. If you put these, uh, all almost all uh, seeds and plants will grow enriched. It will come actually, mm -hmm. and we have different varieties also. You can come and see. I'll just show you the variety. Explain the yeah. herbs variety, sir. Please come. Yeah. This is actually this is called Nagaradi. Especially Nagaradi, two uses is there. One okay. is for uh, medicinal value. Medicine. What is the medicinal value? If you ask, uh -huh. this is actually if you sugar patients, you can if you eat this two leaf every day, uh -huh. almost sugar uh, sixty percent it will get control, sir. Uh -huh. Second thing, this is if you keep it in your garden, a snake it will not come actually. Uh, this is this is very pungent, isn't yeah, yeah. it? Yeah, this is very good. Uh, little, uh. Uh, strong smell also. Yeah, it is yeah. not very, it is not very good smelling, good smelling but yeah. Uh, but it is good for health actually. It's good for health and yeah. it is, yeah, I, I know snake, that uh, that is why it's called Nagadali. Naga yeah, yeah. Because it is a snake repellent. Snake repellent plant. This is called lemon balm. Lemon okay. balm is especially what oh, some people they have in some in a problem, no? Mm -hmm. If you, after lunch, uh, if you make green tea and if you drink, no? Mm -hmm. Nicely you can sleep actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is easy to maintain, like maintain, if you ask, uh, like how you are maintaining the mint plant, no? Mm -hmm. Same kind thing only, you can maintain this. Mm. Uh, but uh, when you making green tea you don't uh. use milk and uh, sugar uh -huh. please put only tulsi leaf and uh, lemon uh, balm leaf only uh -huh. you can drink the uh, green tea okay so this smells little like lemon lemon, lemon so it yeah. has that citronella uh, smell right yeah it's from the citronella family yeah yeah okay it's called uh, oregano Oregano is a Chinese cooking, uh, they will use more actually. Uh -huh. And especially uh, in uh, uh, like uh, restaurant and hotels, they are using more actually this. Uh -huh. And uh, easy to um, growing actually, cooking herbs actually. Any cooking you can apply this actually. Okay. You will get good taste actually. Okay, so next we move on to the Chakra Muni. Yeah. Yeah. Chakra Muni is a multivitamin plant. Okay. You can uh, heat this leaf and... Uh, the stem also, okay. but stem means we you can't eat uh, this uh, this portion. Uh -huh. You have to only pinch here and you can eat actually. Okay. If they like how you are using curry leaf like that, you can use this actually. Uh -huh. You'll get good taste. Like if you eat beans, no same uh -huh. taste it will come actually this. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Simaruba is a medicinal plant. Especially okay. cancer patient, they will use uh, the root and the leaf and the stem. Oh. Tea also they will use actually. Like seventy five percent cancer uh, it will control actually. In beginning stage, uh -huh. if you use this uh, leaf and stem and uh, root. Uh -huh. Okay, all right. Uh, and this is bay leaf. No, tulsi, sir. Oh, this is 
common tulsi lavanga but it's very lavanga tulsi sir oh lavanga tulsi okay okay and almost ellaru gottirathu hmm oh idu basil basil alla basil bere 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 basil bere hmm this is called basmati uh, basmati actually if you put any uh, non veg or veg okay. if you use this leaf uh, cholesterol level will come less actually mm. Mm-hmm. and the uh, same basmati flavor uh, like basmati rice flavor only it will come mm-hmm. especially why people more use it will use cholesterol it will less we will using more non veg mm-hmm. no? mm-hmm. cholesterol co- content it will come less actually so okay okay this. and is it aromatic no it's a little smell it will come mm-hmm. but uh, especially this is a uh, arus uh, uh, arus plant sir medicinal, medicinal. Yeah. okay and this is this is rosemary sir. rosemary 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 is a medicinal value uh, sorry arus value you mm. can uh, use any cooking actually. cooking any cooking especially this also we are mentioning actually especially non veg mm-hmm. we will eat more non veg especially non veg if you eat a uh, cholesterol heavy it will come mm. if you use this uh, cholesterol will come less and uh, normally soup you can use more actually this this is every time is available in our nurseries actually yes. correct correct so people generally dry this and then use they use it or yeah. they Both use it two type you can use sir dry also you can use hmm. especially why uh, we will suggest better you keep one plant in your house just pinch this leaf directly you can use that is best actually you will get good vitamin immediately that actually okay okay yeah. all right and uh, brahmi we have brahmi you know this uh, medicine value like a memory power small ah. children if you eat this leaf you will get good memory power yeah this is there in chavan prash yeah, yeah. things like that yeah especially and you can make chutney 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 if uh-huh. you make no is very good taste for uh, uh, if you dosa or any related of this uh-huh. you can use actually so really some mangrove people they will make a chutney actually kambli it is called kambli 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 okay use actually yes correct so and uh, we have onion chives and garlic chives actually okay this will not come onion and garlic the leaf it will be good taste for onion and uh, garlic if okay. you pinch this like uh, like this much you can use so many side shoot it will grow okay. again you side shoot if you grow whenever you are you want you just cut this leaf uh-huh. and you can use actually okay and so okay. side shoots keep coming actually so uh-huh. and no heavy maintenance also this all Okay so this is uh, b- grown from bulbs no B- bulbs yeah small small bulbs small small bulbs but this is not a onion actually this uh, is not this is onion chives so only the leaf, leaf, leaf is yeah, used leaf. the leaf it so ge- generally leaf. chinese cuisine chinese cuisine and soup soups, soups. and uh, you can some people you will use upma also okay so yeah. the, the so this is mostly the chives and uh, and uh, you have the rosemary melissa melissa we already talked about oh, that like one. lemon balm oh. is a scientific lemon name. balm the common name is melissa okay yeah. okay and uh, we have a lemon grass also sir oh very important see here here okay lemon grass actually you know that uh, lemon grass tea we can make hmm. and uh, uh, this is actually you can use for uh, uh especially more people use uh, tea only lemon grass tea correct, correct correct but you know you some people they don't know how to make tea actually mm-hmm. see we will explain special actually lemon balm uh, we told already lemon balm leaf and uh, uh, lemon grass leaf and tulsi leaf mm-hmm. and stevia special stevia we don't have now okay. if you use stevia leaf we will have sugar no you can make this four item uh, if you mix and uh, make green tea don't mix milk and sugar if you eat this continuously you are uh, using this you will get a good uh, result for you only mm-hmm. please check and do such this actually uh, yes this yes. is available our nursery definitely okay this is this is lemon grass and yes. lemon grass is quite popular in the gardening scene yeah so really nice to see these plants yeah. and this is called madhunashini 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 uh, you know sugar special oh sugar ha, but ha. this one every day you should eat two leaf okay the sugar uh, like uh, 60% it will reduce actually but it is very difficult to eat actually <laughs> it's very is hard actually okay mint i think is yeah. this is mint and mint. we all know yeah. it's it grows really well yeah. and this is spearmint yeah. so is there a difference difference sir yeah spearmint is different and this is normal mint everywhere we get market correct spearmint is a special variety sir okay uh, uh, so actually uh, pets uh, more you will use uh, this leaf uh, actually and uh, restaurant especially more the flavor they will ask for flavor no uh, spear with flavor they will use this actually mums oh wow yeah. this actually smells like those uh, bubble gums bubble those yeah, mint yeah. mint bubble gums pudina obviously smells like yeah, the very pudina smell but this actually smells like mint 
the mint bubble gum and it's just 50 rupees we have different varieties of fruit plants so huh? grapes we have okay and uh, this is called ficus refens ficus ficus, ficus refens Uh, this is normally common name we call uh, wall creeper actually okay this if you put in a gr ground and if you leave it in a wall side mm -hmm. it will spread in a wall only mm -hmm. and whatever shape you want whatever design you want you can cut it and maintain it actually okay does this have thorns yeah no thorns sir this no thorns a, no thorns actually okay yes so it just climbs like this yeah slowly it will climb actually uh -huh. but uh, you, whatever design you can make like i want to make uh, like uh, one uh, umbrella uh -huh. or you want to make any like a uh, elephant or any uh, like toys you can make a design of this yeah uh -huh. so other uh, varieties of uh, fruit plant but hmm. fruit we have butterfly okay and the drumstick this is uh, uh, avocado, avocado. Avocado, butter fruit. Uh, this is drumstick, and th this is uh, gooseberry. Nellikai, gooseberry, yeah, huh. nellikai, and papaya. Papaya, jackfruit. This is special variety, gumless jackfruit actually. Uh -huh. This is uh, more healed. It will come uh, gumless actually. Gumless, yeah. okay. And lemon, hybrid lemon. This is actually only two, two and a half feet. Uh, eight, it will grow, uh -huh. and uh, like uh, eight months fruits, it will come, sir. Actually, uh -huh. uh, this is a special variety, actually. Uh -huh. And we have amla also. So this is uh, the normal yellow lemon that we get, or the green lemon? The yellow lemon, sir. The yellow lemon. And the amla we have, sir. Actually, I must say that you guys have really, very, well, really good fruit collections yeah, because. Yeah. Uh, I have uh, a chiku plant yeah. that you that I've taken from you and it's grown really well. Yeah. yeah. And then I also have uh, fig. Yeah. Beautifully, yeah, yeah. it's beautifully growing. Yeah, so I would stuff. definitely recommend APD Nursery for fruit plants. Yeah. And uh, we have amla also, sir. This amla. Okay. Is this is uh, gooseberry. Yeah. Huh. Gooseberry is uh, like amla variety. You see. Uh huh. You can make uh, pickles, and if you eat one fruit, this. Like sixty uh, percent of uh, calcium, it will come. Mm -hmm. C vitamin is available, sir. This fruit. Okay. And pomegranate we have. Mm -hmm. This is called the uh, red lady pomegranate, actually. Mm -hmm. Dark red. Liquid. So are these plants grown in such a way that these can be grown in pots? Easily can grow, but you have to put a twenty inches pot. Big pot you should plant. Big pot. And uh, use more uh, enrichable uh, manure and everything, sir. Okay. Easily will you can grow. And so you will talk it. about your manure as yeah. well later. Yeah. Uh -huh. And mango I we have. Okay. And goa. We We have kg goa. We call kg goa. What kind of uh, you've done some grafting? Grafting, sir. So this is all okay. grafted varieties, sir. Okay. Yeah. So that's why it grows yeah. uh, well in pots. Fast uh, yield also it will come. Easily Correct. Easily maintain also. So it will not grow height. Wonderful. It will grow dense. And this is uh, this guava. Is, uh, yeah, goa. Hmm. Goa. This is called kg goa actually. Uh -huh. Special variety, sir. Oh, you have a fruit. Yeah. We will uh -huh. sell only. Uh, Mm, white. We will not sell uh, uh, red. Why? Mm -hmm. Because of if you put, uh, if you eat this white, you will get more uh, uh, like uh, vitamin. You will get. That's why uh -huh. we are especially we will keep white only. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I see you have uh, Thanbajia grandiflora. So a lot of people ask me from where you get yeah, yeah. all these plants. A, so yeah. APD Nursery is definitely yeah. And especially this is a very. If you want to creep or plant, if you like to plant your house, very easy to maintain. Correct. Fast growing actually. Fast growing. Fast growing, and every day you can see like uh, if you planting in a ground, mm -hmm. like fifty flowers, hundred percent you can see. Correct, correct. If you plant in a pot or like daily or ten flower, you can see. True. This is a blue color, like a hanging. It will come. Correct. Uh, Throw their flower actually this. Yes, yes. So this is sugandhi, right? Sugandhi. Uh, sugandhi means uh, leaf only will come smell actually. Oh. Just what kind of smell? Purse, purse. Just see this, like ginger. Hmm. Like ginger this is from. Uh, ha ha. Yeah. Correct, correct. Yeah. So this is for uh, ornamental. Just, yeah, just for hmm. show purpose. Okay. Azilia. No, not Azilia. This is called Dedala Canthus. Dedala Canthus. It's a common variety, sir. Common variety, sir. This is Rasilia. Yeah. This looks good. What is this? Lily, lily. Sir. What lily? The uh, pink lily. Pink lily. Oh, you have uh, Nairata. Ah. Uh, so you have uh, some very. 
popular house plants yeah, yeah, as well. Fiddle leaf fig. Sir. This is fiddle leaf fig. Ficus and you. Lareta. It is called ficus. Lareta. Ficus. Yes. Lareta is a scientific name. Correct. It's. Yeah. We have hanging ferns, special varieties actually. This one. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is a hanging fern. Uh -huh. uh, you can plant in a ground or uh, hanging pot. It uh -huh. will grow nicely uh -huh. and easy to production. Just cut this leaf. Uh -huh. If you plant, it will grow actually. Uh -huh. Semi shade area, beautifully, it will grow actually. Correct. This is a special variety actually. This is also big. So this can grow in indoors as well. Indoor nicely and oxygen uh -huh. purify plant actually. Oxygen purifying yeah. plant and uh, does it require humidity? Humidity is required like on uh, five percent, ten percent every week. Once you should rotate actually. Sir. Rotate. Okay. Yeah. Like one hour you should keep it in a sun actually. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it will fall down from the hang hanging. Hang Plant, you know, yes, this is also very popular. ZZ we have. Uh -huh. uh, ZZ is a good condition one actually. It's also oxygen purifying. Okay. And mother-in-law stand. We will call normally sensor vera. We will call yeah, snake plant. Snake plant. Uh, this is also available. We have three three varieties actually. One for this and one variegated leaf also we have. You have variegated uh, sensor vera. Wow. Green, actually. This year actually, like this one. Good one. Oh, like this. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these two common ones. You have the cylindrica. Cylindrica we don't have right now, uh -huh. but it's available. It's available. it's available. Okay, and you have a very popular and very difficult uh, Kalatia. plant, Kalatia. right? Kalatia. Yeah. And Kalatia, uh, we have three families. Okay. So one is uh, this is a big leaf one. Huh. Another two colors we have. I'll just show you. Do you have any tips for my viewers on how to take care of this plant? Kelatia, you should plant it in a ground. Uh -huh. Or you want to plant in a pot, means you have to go 20 inches pot. Don't go small pot. Okay. If you plant 20 inches pot, lot of side shoot it will get. Why I am suggesting 20 inches pot? More space it will get. Okay. And more uh, so soil it will, uh, it will get. Uh -huh. And uh, easily it will grow actually. Yes. And especially semi shade, it nicely it will grow. Uh -huh. And use uh, wherever you are planting semi shade area more cocoa feet. Don't put more soil, sir. Okay. Like sixty percent soil is uh, cocoa feet, forty percent of soil you use, sir. Okay. Nicely it will grow actually. Weekly yes. twice water. Don't you put daily water. Weekly twice. Weekly twice. And yeah. what kind of sunlight? Uh, semi shade area. Semi shade, semi -shade like 50, area. Fifty percent semi shade area. It will grow nicely. It will grow nicely, but a little bright location. Yeah. Bright, yeah. And side shoot easy to production if you ask the uh, side shoots lot hmm. of side shoot it will grow up. Lot of side shoots. Yeah. Okay. It's coming here. Huh, you, you can see that. And we have uh, red taglonium also we have. Mm -hmm. This is also very popular. Peperomia. Yeah. Peperomia also we have in Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, African violet we have some. Wonderful. African violet. And see, this is baby doll Prasina actually. And do you also want to talk about the African violet, how they grow from leaves? Uh, if, uh, if you want to do production, uh, leaf cutting. If you put uh, leaf cutting, easily it will grow. Correct. Semi shade area, weekly twice water. Okay. Whenever indoor plant people you are using, just check water. Like you put your finger and check the humidity and then you do water. So especially Correct. we will suggest weekly twice water. Oh, Don't put twice. it daily. Weekly twice is the best actually. Best. Any yes. indoor plants. And you see a lot of anthuriums here. Yeah. Let me just give you a close up. Yeah. So that's a white one. And Brasina baby doll we have, sir. Mm -hmm. This is called uh, Brasina baby doll. We have three, four varieties, but this is a special variety actually. Okay. Yeah. And uh, see, people you don't see, I think this is uh, here, uh, it is Kalatia uh -huh. red actually. Like, uh, so this is the Kalatia? Kalatia, this is a special variety. Okay. Uh, indoor, nicely it will grow. Uh -huh. uh, this is also weekly twice. Water. Do you know? Do you know the full name? Kelatia red actually, sir. We it's call called it. red. Okay. Yeah, Kelatia family only. Fine. I'll 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 put the scientific name yeah. below. And All we right. have another uh, uh, Kelatia uh -huh. uh, brown and green actually. Yes. Oh, beautiful. This also Kelatia only. Uh -huh. Like banana leaf kind thing, it will grow. And we have two uh, varieties. One mm. is green. Mm -hmm. One is like a brown. If you see back Correct. side, back side brown. is brown. Uh, front is a green variety. Mm -hmm. This is also indoor. Easily it will grow. Okay. And uh, this is weekly twice. Does this water. Uh, grow in height? Height like means one and a half feet height. It will grow. Okay. And easy to maintain, sir. One and a half. Like if you prepare this, especially ceramic pot, you will get good beauty. Actually. Beautiful. 
and uh, th- these are indoor plants Spe- fully indoor only sir yes. okay and uh, normally this is very special variety but uh, generally calatheas have a problem with hard water no no wa- no no water should put less actually if okay put more water it will die actually sir. all right why means this also stem if mm-hmm. you can see here that uh, like small thick stem will be there inside mm-hmm. if you put more water normally that automatically that uh, gel if it will get more mm-hmm. it will die sir actually mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay and this is uh, your pothos pothos and philodendron and money plant also money plant this is the philodendron yeah. type no many uh, philodendron ceylon also we have ceylon is that uh, color this one yeah so how much uh, how much do you charge for these 450 rupees one plant sir huh? okay like for four feet it is growing sir which is no must be actually okay and we have hanging um, uh, money plant also sir huh? okay we have like a uh, 12 uh, 12 to 20 varieties of uh, different uh, hanging uh, plants actually mm-hmm. uh, we are charging 200 rupees each pot mm-hmm. with grown plant actually mm-hmm. 200 rupees ah uh, wow this is wow. a very special variety yes. form uh-huh. i think uh, you will not get anywhere some this is a very rare actually correct this is called made in air fern actually so correct uh, we, uh this is a very indoor easy little grow mm-hmm. side shoots specially side mm-hmm. shoots and if you uh, plant it in a like a uh, window side mm-hmm. nice decorative it will get actually so correct and uh, this goes dormant during the winter right yeah yeah okay the so and uh, once you uh, see i will tell the maintenance also after mm. if you get like this lap and you just trim this yes. you can see down see lot of side shoot it will grow correct see correct. lot of side shoot easy to maintain mm-hmm. uh, people uh, normally will not get anywhere sir yes so people looking for maiden hair fern you know where to come apd nursery jeevan bima nagar yeah. oh wow. i see this eclon oh nice agronima we have uh, like uh, four to five varieties we have sir okay yeah this is a special variety one more and this all agronima only <laughs> so agloni agronima is also very popular now yeah and agronima also is uh, whatever so how how do you come come to know these trends and how do you change your plants because i i see lot different different plants all see, the time what we will do every like you know generally uh, our customer they will come uh-huh. they will ask what is the new what is new okay especially we will do some new varieties we will also research we our production team they will research and they will uh, plant and we will uh, different different uh, uh, say, uh, like different uh, front of cuttings and everything we will make uh-huh. like that we are production we are doing sir okay. especially customer requirement is most important ours actually okay and uh, people will come they will give a feedback also like feedback. these all the items they need and this plant yeah, and yeah. okay then within a week we will organize and give you sir that actually. okay wonderful all right and uh, monster we have actually ha huh, this is the plant monster adan sonia yeah Uh-huh. wonderful it's a fern sir beautiful fern yeah. staghorn no not no staghorn. not staghorn yeah not staghorn this staghorn. this is this is staghorn staghorn okay so this looks like a deer's yeah yeah leaf thing no the this is oh uh, i'll probably find out and Add it in yeah, the video. Yeah, yeah. So this is a particular fern, right? Fern, so you, you can see the spores. Yeah, in in the back side it will come seeds actually, sir. Here. Okay. Yeah. As of now, I don't see any. Yeah, now is not there, sir. Now is a baby plant. Baby actually. plant. Huh. Once it's grown only, it will come. After eight, six to eight months. Correct, correct. So what kind of soil medium do you use? I see a lot of coco peat. Coco peat, especially indoor plants, put more vermi compost. Mm-hmm. Like if you are generally, if you ask, uh, what is the media we want to mix? Uh, mm-hmm. Use uh, like uh, indoor plants. Uh, 60% cocoa peat 20% soil 20% vermi compost okay two things it will have one is a uh, easily plant it will grow mm-hmm. second thing uh, less water mm-hmm. and easy to movement if you want to change the if you want to shift the pot it's lightweight lightweight will be there mm. and easily you can uh, wherever you want you can you can shift it, it. Yeah. right and especially the extra do the repotting mm. easily you can do the repotting actually. repotting if you put soil it will get hard actually correct if you put cocoa peat uh, uh, soil it will get loose actually okay so how much do you uh, the charge for these uh, charges 600 two two three varieties is there sir for okay. especially we have see 170 rupees is there 600 is there uh, 70 rupees is there different varieties different rate is there this can even grow on uh, coconut coco bark coconut, bark, coconut, coconut shell, shell, shell also it, will it can be just it uh, can hanged hang, hang it yeah. really nice 
Okay, can we, oh, the bromeliad section. Yeah. Uh, you know the name of this? Uh, full name I don't know, but okay. this is actually a bromeliad family. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Bromeliad. Yeah. Huh. Does this uh, have flower spikes? Uh, blue color flower it will come. Sir. Blue color. See, this hmm. is blue and this is a red actually. Sir. This is red. The red, yeah. Okay. And this one, cassava? Oh, no, not cassava, sir. This is a tabubia family actually. Uh-huh. This is a tree variety, sir, actually. Tabubia. Like ball shape it will come, uh, fl- flower actually. Hanging tabubia, the, the, the pink flowers that same you see, family, same family. But this is a hanging flower, sir. This is hanging, hanging flower. flower. Wonderful. So these are also some flowering plants? Honge, honge sir. Honge, oh. Uh, this is very popular for something, no? Uh, some furniture. Shade, shade. Nice shade. shade it will get. Correct, correct. If you plant this, good hair it will come actually, sir. Uh-huh. Honge mara they say in yeah, Kannada. Yeah. So these are all carpenter bees, eh? Yeah, yeah. They have done this. This is called huh. tree sunflower, sir. Tree sunflower. Yeah. Oh, you have Petria volubilis. Yeah. So with this, we've come to the end of part one of this particular episode and we will come back with Mr. Kiran to see more of this splendid plant paradise. Additionally, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. The links are given below. I will also be adding the navigation map of this nursery in the description box. Thank you for watching and until we meet again, a very warm goodbye.